Hey guys, it's Paulo, and I'm going to be doing my presentation on HIV. The human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, is a virus that attacks the white blood cells in the body. These are the cells that help fight off the infections and diseases. So because of the HIV virus, the body will be more susceptible to these infections and diseases. Unfortunately, there is no cure for it, and it can be spread by unprotected sex and sharing of drug injection, things like needles. There are some comorbidities that can be seen with HIV. Hepatitis can occur due to either the HIV or the drugs intended to help with the HIV. This can escalate the problem even more because the liver is also responsible for making new proteins needed by the immune system, which helps the body fight and resist infections. Uh, you can also see some mental health disorders like depression and HIV can also be associated with different kinds of cardiovascular diseases. When exercising with HIV, there's a couple things to look out for. HIV can cause things like high blood sugars and low HDL, which is a problem because the HDL helps reduce the risk of heart disease. So with the lower levels, you have an increased risk for the heart diseases. Uh, you also have an increased risk for things like strokes, diabetes, osteoporosis, cancers, lung problems, and chronic pains. So how can exercise help those with HIV? Exercise has many benefits to those with and without HIV. Among the many benefits listed below, the ones I've seen most affected by exercising with HIV, is an increased heart and lung health, a boost in self-esteem, and a reduced level of depression. This can likely be associated with the increased ability and confidence to get up, move around, and be independent. This study talked about what patients and other healthcare professionals thought about physical therapy. Both were asked about their knowledge, experience, and perception of the therapist and their work. The patients reported that PT has helped them regain mobility and independence, and because of this they are also more confident and motivated to participate in whatever activities were you know, available to them. One gentleman stated that it was a transformative life experience. His physical therapist must have been great. The other healthcare professionals said that the therapists are a great help because they spend more one-on-one -on -one time with the patients and they're able to build that relationship and that rapport with them. The therapists are like a, a good friend, a coach. They're always there to encourage the patients to work hard and get better. So this study looked at the effects that physical therapy had on chronic pains that some patients felt. Uh, what they did was during the initial eval and at patient discharge, they were asked questions regarding the pain. The interventions performed throughout the sessions included exercising, stretching, massaging, postural education, and some therapeutic taping. Uh, the results of this Study showed that at patient discharge, 65% reported a significant decrease in pain, and over 25% reported that they had no more pain. This last study I looked at was looking at the effects of resistance exercise on depression that resulted from HIV. Uh, depression is one of the more common mental health disorders that can be seen in people living with the virus. To qualify, the person had to have HIV for more than 12 months, they had to get a score of 10 or greater on the Center for Epidemiologic Studies depression scale. They had to be free from any orthopedic condition, any heart or lung disease, and they had to speak English and be literate in English. After putting the patients under a body weight resistance exercise program, the results showed that there were beneficial changes to the mental health. Uh, one of the limits of the study was that the participants were not given the depression survey at the end of their workout so there was no ability to compare their actual scores before and after but the perceived arousal had improved throughout the course of the exercises it was concluded that the body weight exercises could help reduce acute depressive states for those living with hiv so are there any major risk precautions or contraindications eh, not really Unless it's at a stage where the heart or lungs are negatively affected by the HIV, you really shouldn't have that much of a problem exercising. Uh, if there is a heart or lung problem, then depending on the severity, you could lighten the load, but always monitor the vitals. 
want to make sure we're not going to overwork or, you know, make someone pass out. That'd be bad. Other than that, there's nothing but benefits when it comes to exercising. So here's a sample exercise that I came up with that anyone could do whether you have HIV or not. Uh, in total, it's a 25 minute exercise. You have 20 minutes of your actual exercise followed by five minutes of a resting cool down period. And this whole workout is body weight. So it's gonna be a circuit between body weight squats, push-ups, and lunges. So you're gonna start with squats. You're gonna do 45 seconds of squats. Get as many as you can, followed by 45 seconds of rest. After that rest, we're going to go to push-ups. Same thing, 45 seconds of pushing, 45 seconds rest. And then we're going to go into lunges, another 45 seconds exercise, 45 seconds rest. And you're going to repeat this after lunges go back to squats. You're going to repeat the cycle for 20 minutes. At the end of the 20 minutes, there's going to be that 5-minute cool down. You're going to be stretching that upper, the lower body. You're going to focus on breathing in and out, slow. We don't want to be hyperventilating or anything. You know, we want a nice, slow, controlled breathing. And we're just going to rest. Our body's probably going to be tired. We'll be sweating, get that good exercise in. Uh, this is a low to moderate intensity exercise that you could do every day. Uh, it can help with your dynamic balance, your aerobic endurance, and strengthening of your upper and lower body muscles. Now the biggest downfall to this little exercise sample is that there's no specific back workout. You know, there's no pull-ups, none of that. You can add things like uh, bent over row if you have you know a heavy backpack or you know something you can have a rope and do a seated row pulling something towards you but this little plan is kind of assuming there's no exercise equipment at all 